In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make vegan meringues. No eggs, no dairy, no chickpea water. Just a really solid technique for making high quality plant-based mousses and meringues. I'm going to demonstrate my technique by making a vegan rosehip meringue today, but you could use this technique for more or less any flavour that you want. I've done things like alcoholic gin and tonic meringues, savoury meringues, sweet meringues. I've done different sizes and shapes and presentations with them. It's a really, really adaptable technique that you can use for more or less any flavour that you want. But before we get into that, let me talk to you a little bit about the process and the technique. This technique uses an ingredient I developed called Easy Whip, which is a product I designed for the aptly named Special Ingredients Company. And I've worked with them on a few projects, but the idea with this was to design an ingredient that allowed you to really simply, easily make vegan mousses and meringues in a way that was really adaptable and consistent and didn't require using chickpea water, which I'm not really a fan of. So this is just based on two ingredients, cellulose and a fermentation byproduct. And the idea with this is that it's just very, very simple to use. For this rosehip meringue, I'm just going to start off by making a rosehip infusion. And if you wanted to make a different flavour of meringue, all you'd do is start off with a different base liquid or make a different infusion. So I have 10 grams of dried rosehips and I'm just going to pour in 500ml of hot water and leave that to infuse for 10 minutes. So let's make the meringue. Now, normally when I'm making this, I would blend together these ingredients before I put them in the mixer to whip. And that's just because it whips up a little bit faster like that. But I wanna show you the simplest possible version of that. So we're just gonna put each ingredient in and then mix and whip the whole lot together until we get beautiful, light, fluffy meringues. So we start off with our rosehip infusion. Then a little cranberry juice and then some lemon juice for acidity and a little rose water just to boost that rose flavor. Then next we have some isomalt and some caster sugar. Then finally a little bit of citric acid just because this meringue works nicely with that little hint of acidity. You don't necessarily need the acid in other flavors of meringue. And then finally, the Easy Whip gets sprinkled in. And this is what's gonna let it all thicken and whip up. Then it's just a case of setting it to whip and it'll take about 10 minutes to whip up to stiff peaks. The recipe for the meringue will be down in the video description but also available as a PDF to my Patreon subscribers. So one option with our whipped rosehip meringue now is to pipe it into small, quite traditionally shaped meringues. Another option, and what I quite often go for, is to spread the meringue out in a thin layer and then dry out a crispy, thin sheet of meringue. And then finally, I'm gonna sprinkle this with a little bit of crystallized violet. So those meringues have gone into the dehydrator and dried out for about 12 hours. And once that's happened, what you get are these beautiful, dry, crispy, delicious plant-based meringues. Now let's plate up a little dessert using the rosehip meringue we've just made. So what I've got here is some fresh almond milk sorbet and the full recipe for that will be going out to my Patreon subscribers. So do check out my Patreon page if you're interested in some more content from me. And then also here I have some raspberries which I have frozen with liquid nitrogen and then crushed into pieces. But you could just be using fresh raspberry for this. So I'm gonna take my almond milk sorbet 
and sprinkle over a little of my crushed fresh raspberry. And then finally, just garnish it with some crispy pieces of the rosehip meringue. Thanks very much for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please give me a like and hit subscribe and you can check out that Patreon page if you're interested in seeing more extra content from me. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon.